you know, there's still some people that have that, you know, fond memory of Rubigan. I mean, from what we have seen, it's the same control. Uh, if not better, because I'm not, I'm not entirely sure that we were looking at phytotoxicity as much because Rubigan was the only thing we had. Um, it really wasn't until the ballistas and lexicons came out uh, that we were like, well, maybe we're not setting this back and still getting spring dead spot control. So what I've been telling people is you have a DMI chemistry, which I think on the flip side, what I'll talk about is there are superintendents that have made, I think, somewhat of a compelling case that when Rubigan went away, it seems coincidental that take all root rot started ramping back up. So, makes sense, we went to an SDHI, it doesn't seem the, like the SDHIs are as strong on take all root rot. So, I think the Max Tima is going to be comparable. Uh, it may not have the foolproof application, right, because Rubigan's half-life was quite long, even though Dr. Latin showed that doesn't make that big of a deal, but I mean, what we used to do with the old research is Rubigan you could apply at any time. If we target the Maxtima and Navicon appropriately, it is the exact same control with no issue on regulation. So, to me, that's a win <laughs> over from what we had. BASF. We create chemistry.